Namaste yoga friends, my name is Doreen Foxwell. Welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. Today we're going to talk about the Leo, Leo the Lion, full moon. Um, and we're going to talk about the energies that it brings to your children and how to handle that. And so I wanted to start with the fact that the full moon is when the sun is completely illuminating the moon. But what does that mean to you or your child? It is bringing out the emotions of your children. And so just ask any teacher, they'll tell you when it's a full moon week, when it's leading up to the full moon, they know. Today's full moon hits between 12 and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's when it will be cresting. That's when it will be the actual degrees of the full moon in uh, the sign of Leo. I like to call it Leo the Lion. And um, it's a great time if you had access to the moon shining brightly to put your crystals out. And I have got this beautiful crystal. It's an organi piece from uh, my best friend for a homecoming gift. Home homecoming. Oh my goodness. Housewarming gift. <laughs> And it has crystals in it, and it has and it has all of these metals in it, and it's it's a wonderful science to help um, keep away any of the blue wave technology and um, cellular technology. But it has crystals within it, so I love that piece. But you can put your crystals out uh, for the moon to shine bright on and energize. This is a great full moon to do that. And um, another great thing to do during the full moon with your children is to write down anything they want to release, let go of that they carried over from 2023. Meaning if there's anything still bothering them, something a friend did, something that happened in school, something, whatever it might be, tell them to write it down to release it. They can crumple up the paper afterwards, I personally save them all in a very nice container and I go back at the end of the year and look at it. But every full moon, every new moon, I will write down what to release on a full moon um, and, and, or reveal, and on a new moon what to manifest. And so I even have this really cool Buddha pen. don't know if you can see it from there, but it's a Buddha head pen. I don't even remember where I got that. Probably one of the uh, many fairs and expos that I do, which are a lot of fun. I have one coming up in February. Body, Mind, and Spirit in Raleigh called me, asking me to, uh, or contacted me, reached out several times for me to do a Kids Yoga Meets Astrology class, except take out the kids and it's Yoga Meets Astrology. And no problem, we could do that too. And so we did, uh, we did that last year. We did two of those for them and two adult yoga classes last year for them. This year, we're just going to be there on Sunday at 3 doing the Yoga Meets Astrology. Back to what to do for your children. So Leo the Lion. Leo is the emotional lion. Lions like to roar, roar. So if your child is just in one of those very emotional states this week, it's the full moon and especially in Leo. And Leos are very um, full of life, exuberant. And so they might be a little bit more of that type of energy this week might be affecting them. Uh, ask any teacher. I know yesterday in the schools, I could see it in one school very, very, very clearly how much the children were affected by the full moon. And that was actually the youngest group. And as young as two years old, the moon has to do with your children's and your emotional body. The waves of the ocean is the waves of your emotion. And so that is uh, how your children are affected. Now, a way to help very young children is to just do a really fun breath to let it out and just roar. <sighs> Stick your tongue out as far as you can like a lion does. <sighs> and get it all out. For the older children, journaling is a wonderful thing to do. Another great thing always I, I, is meditation of any kind. And a meditation, it could be one your children even make up. They love to make things up. And so you could ask them to do a makeup meditation. What would it be? Leo is all about creativity. So it's a great time to create. Also, art, artists, artistic, music, Anything in that realm is a great thing to do right now during this full moon. 
And so I hope this helps on your beautiful full moon happening today. Be looking for it, even though it's daytime, you still can see the moon out there. Unless you live where I live and it has been cloudy for days, have not been able to see the moon or charge my crystals, so in the moon. I will see you all next time. Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep full moon breath. Oh, namaste yoga friends, have a great yoga day.